Yo, what is going on guys? In today's video, we're going to be talking all about Thor Ragnarok. So we're going to be taking a look at his abilities right now, and then also his abilities after once his buffed abilities. We're going to be comparing them a little bit to highlighting the changes. And yeah, talking about Thor, where I think he's going to be after his buff. So let's get started. Thor Ragnarok, I remember when this dude came out, I, I was so excited for him. And he was just such a letdown to me because... Uh, Thor is one of my favorite characters in the entire MCU, um, especially like after once Thor Ragnarok came out, that was like the first movie where, like where I really, really started to like Thor. He really became one of my favorites, um, and I just feel like they, they haven't done him justice in this game. That's why I've wanted a new version of Thor with um, with his new hammer so much with Stormbreaker, uh, but a buff is good too. So let's get into it. So we're gonna start with his buffed abilities and then. Take a look back at his current abilities and see what's really been changed. So let's get started. So champion spot like Thor Ragnarok. And just to clarify real quick, uh, his prestige it says 13,740 here on Ant May. It says uh, 13,744, as you can see at the bottom there. So it's four point difference. I think that's just Ant May um, being a, a bit off, I, I, I think. Uh, either way, four points drop in prestige is no big deal. So his prestige is essentially staying the same. Okay. So base ability, stun, armor break, shock, strengths, high energy damage, Thor can inflict shock debuffs at a high rate uh, to deal constant energy damage, great versus armor stacking opponents, Thor has many ways to inflict stacking armor breaks to deal with any armor stacking opponents, weaknesses is power lock, power burn effects, and also purify. I feel like also a, a weakness would be anyone who is immune to shock or armor break, so Dr. Doom, I uh, would not want to bring this guy against a Dr. Doom, I don't think. So abilities. Always active, shock effects. Incoming shock effects suffer 90% duration. Each time Thor inflicts a shock debuff, he has a 16% chance to also inflict a stun debuff lasting 2 seconds. Each time Thor inflicts a shock debuff, he has a 45% chance to inflict an armor break and debuff, removing an armor up buff and reducing armor rating by 900 for 10 seconds. So that's how Thor can place his armor breaks now, just at his base. Every time he inflicts a shock debuff, he has about a coin toss of a chance, 45%, pretty close to 50 to also be inflicting an armor break, which would remove an armor up buff. The enemy had one and it's reducing armor rating by 900. So that's a pretty good armor break for the chance that it is to be applied. That's actually really solid. That's a really solid number for how easy it is to apply these. Once you start stacking up a lot of them, that is going to be a ton of armor mitigation. You're going to be dealing a lot of damage. So, Boon of the Gods. Each time Thor gains 40 hits on his combo meter or is struck 20 times, he gains Boon of the Gods passive. Max 2 stacks. Boon of the Gods fills Thor's power meter over 6 seconds and is unaffected by ability accuracy reductions. If Thor is struck by a special attack, Boon of the Gods is removed. Dev notes we've changed the Boon of the Gods to count down now instead of counting up, so be careful when he gets close to 0. That's fine. Uh, when the opponent intercepts Thor's dash, 30% chance to auto block. This is how it's been. Nothing of this is being changed, and it's still going to activate parry. Uh, when an attack inflicts a stun, if the opponent has armor break debuff, the attack deals a burst of additional physical damage equal to 250% of the damage dealt by this attack. This is already in Thor's abilities, but you're going to be able to take uh, more advantage of it after his buff because of the special one. So there's a dev note for right here. Spamming special one will help you trigger this often for a ton of damage. So, special one, uh, Fearsome Fighter, 75% chance to inflict a 1.8 second stun debuff. If the combo meter is of 40 hits or plus, the chance is instead 100%. So, if your combo is over 40 and you're throwing a special one, it's guaranteed to stun. And uh, when you inflict a stun, if the opponent has an armor break debuff, you're going to deal a burst of 250% uh, damage uh, equal to the, whatever the special one dealt. So, sounds pretty good. And we have special attack 2 here, the warrior within, 100% chance to inflict an armor break debuff, removing one armor up buff, and reducing armor rating by 1400 for 16 seconds. So this is a guaranteed way to get one of those armor breaks, and this one's a lot stronger than his regular ones as well. And this armor break debuff is paused while Boon of the Gods is active, so that's nice. And then we got special 3, uh, God of Thunder. This attack cannot deal more than 20% of the opponent's max health, which is kind of lame, that's how it is right now. However... This damage cap is increased to 30% if the opponent is suffering from an armor break debuff. Which I guess is better that it can go higher, but I don't know. It's, I found that so weird that it has a damage cap on a special 3. But let's keep reading. 100% chance to inflict a shock debuff causing uh, 2600 energy damage over 10 seconds. 100% chance to gain a Thunder God's 
Wrath, passive lasting 30 seconds, which is unaffected by ability accuracy reductions. While active, contact with the opponent has a 40% chance to inflict a shock debuff, causing 1900 energy damage over 5 seconds. So, uh, once you get into Thunder God's Wrath passive for 30 seconds, you're going to be having a very high chance to inflict shocks, and on every one of those shocks, you're going to have about a 50% chance to also apply an armor break. And remember, um, you're in Wrath of the Gods for 30 seconds. That's that's quite a long time, man. Um, and I feel like you'll be able to keep, you know, cycling special threes, especially if you can get Boon of the Gods paired up with it well to get that power gain, drop a special three, boom, get the power gain, get back to a special three once it's kind of close to running out, and just keep this loop going, keep the shock, the shock loop going, keep the armor break stacking. It's, it sounds good. But wait, it gets way better as well, because with the new synergy, uh, sorry, with the new signature ability, we have Renewed Spark. Thunder God's Wrath is enhanced to provide 2,118 attack rating. Additionally, each shock debuff on the opponent causes them to suffer minus 20% ability accuracy. So, Dev Note here gained a ton of bonus damage with this new and improved signature ability. So, this signature ability, I think, is one of the best parts of Thor's buff by far. That is awesome you're gonna get a massive attack increase after and like i said with the play style i have in mind like you just keep cycling these special threes like you, you just keep this attack rating up and it's gonna be some good damage it's gonna be good physical damage that you're dealing it's gonna be good shock damage that you're dealing and it's gonna be and all that is only gonna be increased with however many armor breaks you get so more armor breaks just more raw damage sounding pretty good right now we have some synergy bonuses. Uh, Thor Ragnarok with Hela. Heal 10% of max health each time an opponent is knocked out. That, sound, that sounds kind of nice, man. And Hela starts with 100 Spirit of the Dead charges. Uh, friend from work with the Hulks. Uh, Thor gains 15% attack rating while Thunder God's Wrath is active. That's nice. Which, you know, more attack. Uh, and the other synergy champs when brought below 20% max health. Gain an indestructible passive for 5 seconds. Like the old days with... Uh, Loki, when struck for the first time, each fight 100% chance to gain a combo shield passive lasting 10 seconds. Not horrible. Uh, Loki, Ascendant Signature Abilities Enhanced Provide Power Gain while below 2 bars of power. I think that's already his synergy. Uh, teammates with Black Widow, Deodorant, Vision, and Captain America. 5% uh, perfect block chance. And then with Odin, 6% health. I was hoping for a better synergy with Odin, to be honest. It's his dad, you know. Uh, and then Recommended Masteries here, we have Stupefy and Despair. So that all sounds pretty good on paper, but like what's actually being changed? So uh, one of the big changes here is with his always active passive ability here, the incoming shock effect suffered 90% uh, duration. I think right now it's only 40%. So yeah, shock debuffs are shrugged off 40% faster. Now that moves up to 90%, which is good because I mean, he's the god of lightning. Um, he shouldn't be taking that much damage to shock, right? He's controlling it like that. Uh, each time uh, Thor inflicts a shock debuff, he has a 16% chance to also inflict a stun debuff. Um, I, I think this was already in his abilities, but it was in his signature ability before here. Yeah, it's right in the middle there. Inflicting shock debuff has a 16% chance to also inflict a stun debuff. So they, they really changed a lot with the signature ability here. There's a ton of stuff in his signature ability. Uh, and they kind of just took it away and put it kind of more in some of his base abilities, which is good because here, Thor needs to be awakened for this to work. Uh, after special three, Thor is able to control lightning within his body. Thor has a 40% chance to inflict a shock whenever making physical contact with the opponent, blah, blah, blah. Like that's just built in now to Thor's uh, special three. He doesn't need uh, to be awakened to, uh, to get that now to gain thunder god's wrath and to to go into that so that's definitely better you know that he just doesn't need to be awakened to be able to have uh, that ability now some of the other stuff uh that got changed one of the gods is is staying the same it's just counting down now um the intercept staying the same he already has like i said that 250 percent attack damage is physical damage i didn't even know thor had that um but yeah it's it's gonna be a little bit better now um, I guess special one already had 100% chance. Uh, it's it's just 45% plus 55% if the combo of 40 or more is maintained. Um, special two armor break. The special two. What else did they change to it? 
Uh, now the armor break is, is paused. Is it the same amount of armor break? It is. Okay. And then, yeah, you see special three just kind of got some more stuff from the signature ability, so it's better than the old special three is here. There's not a whole bunch of text here. And now at least you can get to uh, to 30% if you have uh, an armor break debuff, which sounds like it's going to be pretty easy to keep uh, at least one armor break debuff uh, on the opponent, so that's good. So yeah, the main, main changes is, like I said, with that signature ability, the renewed spark. Yeah, the renewed spark. That's that's a very fitting name for it. That's an extremely fitting name for it because before it was just Thunder God's Wrath. Now he kind of has that more built in with a special three. And this is a renewed spark in the champion. That's actually really well named. I like that. Um, so yeah, I, I'm, I'm thinking Thor has a lot of potential. Like I said, he's my favorite. Like I like Spider-Man more than Thor, but in the MCU, I, I think I like Thor just a tiny bit more because he's just so awesome in the MCU. And yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to, to test this out. Unfortunately, I don't have a five or a six star Thor Ragnarok on my account. And I've never had a problem with that because he hasn't been that good. But now I'm kind of mad. Uh, but yeah, I'm very excited for the buff. Let me know what you guys think down below. Uh, sorry, I was so late to getting uh, this video. It's already nighttime. I know this news didn't go out or, uh, this late tonight. It was out earlier today. I apologize. Um, I will have my guillotine uh, buff video going out tomorrow, right on time. As soon as I can upload it, it'll be live. Be on the lookout for the guillotine buff. Um, I haven't looked at it yet, but I think she's supposed to be a full rework. So I'm really excited to take a look at that and make that video. But yeah, that's going to do it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, I would appreciate a thumbs up. Let me know what you guys are thinking of Thor. Are you excited? Do you think he's still not going to be that good? Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Thank you for watching. Peace out.